Solar Smash just got an update. There's two new planets, new monsters, a secret lightsaber, and even a Minecraft Cube World planet that will be unlocking at the end of today's video. So buckle up, grab a snack, and while you're at it, leave a like on today's video. If you do, I'll blow up this planet. Fire in the hole! That was nothing. Do, 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 do. Boom, baby! Holy smokes! That's more like it. So guys, here are the two brand new planets. There's Adranos and Persephone. Let's check out Adranos first. This looks incredible. And then there's also Pers- Wait, no, I don't think Persephone is one of them. I think it's Aphrodite. Holy smokes! Yep, that's the one. It looks like a giant weird painting. And as you guys can see, this is the secret cube world planet that I'll be showing you guys how to unlock later in today's video. But for right now, we need to load up Earth. As you guys can see on the bottom right hand of the screen, there's a secret mystery weapon that I haven't unlocked. I think in order to do it, I need to go over to the missiles. And then if I lower this to 66, I think it automatically unlocks the lightsaber. But let's try it out. Oh my gosh. That is a lot of explosion powder. There it is. It did work. Check this out guys we now have a lightsaber okay we're gonna just tap the lightsaber in the center whoa that is insane this is so cool we could slice the earth in half using lightsaber powers i sliced earth up real good everybody has died i actually have a pretty good idea so now that we have a lightsaber we can load up machine world which a lot of you guys say is like the death star from star wars so we're actually gonna try to see if the lightsaber is strong enough to bust through the force field if i try to actually destroy any of the planet it destroys the force field we were able to break through and in the center there you guys can see that little ball arc reactor that's what actually regenerates the shield see look the shield's already back so we could use the lightsaber to cut through the planet like surgically this is crazy this has to be one of the most powerful mass weapons of destruction that we have access to okay i don't want to accidentally destroy the shield core i want to try to destroy the outside part of the planet okay looks like in order to do damage we have to just like hit this lightsaber back and forth we did it 812 million members of this planet have been disintegrated into dust i am a terrible person but i do not care okay yeah, I'm gonna switch off of the lightsaber because I'm a little bit worried that I'm accidentally going to destroy the core. We just gotta increase the power a little bit. That should be able to break through the shield core. Come on. Yes. All right, it's gone. And now we can try to get rid of the rest of Machine World. I'm starting to realize just how powerful the lightsaber was. This is good, but the lightsaber was way stronger. Okay, there's a couple little bits left. I wanna get rid of everything. Let's see. Okay, there's only a couple more parts. No, the shield came back at the worst time. Okay, we perfectly the shield again check it out guys that's pretty darn close now the planet is just the shield core reactor i also just realized that in the distance i think there might be another sun we can explode the sun like that i don't know if you guys knew i could do that but let's see will that actually mess up the shield core it's coming over to the planet Oh, it just busted through the shield faster than I've ever seen before. And I guess s something blew up. There was nothing left to blow up, but there was just a random explosion in the middle of the Milky Way galaxy. That is how the Big Bang started. I still have to show you guys at the end of today's video how to get Cube World. But before I do that, you guys wanted me to test out the secret new monster, which supposedly is a locust storm. And not just any locust, these are alien locusts. Oh, that is terrifying. Imagine an alien invasion not like anything that we've thought of but of alien bugs that come and destroy our planet this is crazy they came and then just started to peck away at the earth and then they just left i'm a little bit disappointed only 43 million people died i'm gonna see exactly how many alien locusts i can call to destroy planet earth i literally crashed the game let's try this one more time okay we're gonna call in a bunch on that side and just a couple more on this side i don't want to cause it to crash again there we go oh they are destroying everything i want to see if it's possible to destroy planet earth just using this new monster but i also am worried that i'm going to crash the game these things are so powerful that like my pc is on fire right now honestly these things are not as aggressive or destructive as i thought they would be the space dragon and giant casper the angry ghost are way stronger but maybe if we combine them all together all of the space monsters space worms cthulhu the space dragon 
Angry Casper and the Locust have all decided to take over planet Earth. Antarctica isn't even safe. Somehow, 188 million people are still alive, even though all kinds of aliens have decided to destroy planet Earth. Where are people living? I guess like right here. We can call in more locusts. Okay, there's still 18 million, 11 million. Where are these 11 million people? I still see a couple lights on this tiny little island in a sea of red. The last 1 million people are surviving over here on Hawaii. And of course, in Beck Bro Jack fashion, we are calling in the locust storm to take them out. They accept the weight. That's not where they were. We are about to do surgery on planet Earth until we find these people. Here. No. Here? No. There. No. There? No. Up here? No. This doesn't make any sense. There are holes going through the center of the Earth. It has to be here. Yes, that's where it was. In this area. And then we grab the lightsaber and then we do a little bit of this action. Yeah, that does the trick. There's also the two brand new planets. One of them bring Aphrodite. This this thing is huge. I wonder what happens if I use the lightsaber on a gas planet like this. A gas planet normally can regenerate over time. See, look, I just made a little tiny hole and now it's closing up. I wonder if I can use the lightsaber to cut through to the center. Look, the entire planet is shrinking in on itself. I'm gonna need some help from the brand new locust. Let's see if they could survive the surface of purple Jupiter. They're doing some serious damage to it right now. Look, the entire place is shrinking. And also, guys, check it out. This must be in a different solar system because way in the distance, there is a blue supernova. We're gonna try to use this. Oh, okay, so we can blast a hole through the center of this planet. I have turned it into a donut. Is it gonna be able to repair itself? I think that it's gonna shrink to be too tiny. Yep, this is the core of the new Persephone planet. And then in the Alpha Centauri solar system, we can go check out the brand new Adranos planet. Now, since this one looks like a burnt piece of cookie dough, I was thinking that we could try to freeze it. Let's increase our freeze power and see if we can actually freeze it, even though it's super hot. It looks like we can. And when we cool it down, it looks like a ginormous moon. That is pretty darn interesting. That is cool. We'll freeze over here just a little bit. Okay, you have two suns. Am I able to... Oh my gosh, the freeze ray blows up the sun too. All right, this uh, might cause some problems here. Gonna be okay. Okay, it's not gonna be okay. Freeze. Freeze it. I am trying to stop it from exploding. Come on. Am I saving it? No. <laughs> I tried my best to freeze it. The exploding sun in the distance was too powerful. Okay, guys, now we're going to try to unlock the brand new Minecraft Cube World planet. In order to do that, you need to already unlock Cube Earth. I can show you guys quickly how to do that. It's not super difficult. You have to go over here to the XYZ grid panel and just put them all in the center like this. Make sure you do it on normal planet Earth, but I'll show you guys with Cube Earth right now. Once you do that, you're gonna wanna get your missiles and then just increase them to the max. You're going to want to do all the missiles possible just so that you can explode it. And then just cause a couple of missiles there. Just like call in a couple of missiles over here, over there. A couple up top until your entire screen is filled up with the orange and yellow glow of destruction. But as you guys can see, if you do it right, you'll have to get rid of like some of the surrounding little debris pieces. You will eventually have a cube earth and then all you have to do is reset it. In order to get cube world, we are going to have to use these brand new regen missiles. And I'm pretty sure it's just as simple as this. I shoot the cube world with the regen missile. And as soon as the mist start, starts to like spread out all over the planet, I just have to reset it. Wait for it now. It actually worked! We got the achievement unlocked solar craft. It actually just looks like a bunch of Minecraft blocks placed together. Unfortunately, there is no population on Cube World. Let's actually go ahead and see what's in the center of this. And what better way to do it than to test it out using our brand new lightsaber? Okay, let's see. We're just chopping away one cube at a time. Oh, wait a second. Look, there's like magma blocks inside. We could zoom in too. And then the middle kind of just looks like super hot magma blocks. Wait a second check that out when you freeze it it all turns into ice blocks okay if you use a laser on it the blocks just start to disappear oh my goodness and then if you use rockets some of the blocks actually go flying wait some of the rockets also got caught in orbit there that is pretty darn cool in normal fashion let's see what happens when i explode the entire planet from head to toe here we go okay it just mined to the center and the entire thing heated up Look at that. That was gnarly. Bye-bye, Cube World.